We're often asked as to why United Clans burns a cross at a clan ceremony. This comes from my ritualistic work and I think we'll explain it totally and fully. Out of the sacred pages of our Holy Bible comes the sad sweet story of Calvary's rugged but holy cross. This cross is a sign of the Christian religion made holy nearly 19 centuries ago by the suffering and blood of 50 million martyrs who died in the most holy faith. This cross stands in every clavern of the United Clans as a constant reminder that Christ is our criterion of character, his ruling our life blood, made holy, sanctified, and sublime. This cross was once a sign of ignominy and disgrace, but being bathed in the blood of the lowly Nazarene, it has become the symbol of faith, hope, and love. This cross inspired the Crusaders in the middle centuries in their perilous attempt to rescue the Holy Land from the most heathen Turk and is being used today to rally the forces of Christianity against the ever-increasing hold of Antichrist and principles of pure Americanism. As light drives away darkness and gloom, so a knowledge of truth dispels ignorance and superstition. As fire purifies gold, silver, and precious stone, but destroys wood, hay, and stubble, we mean to cleanse and purify our virtues by the fire of the cross. Who can look upon this sublime symbol or sit in its most holy light without holy desire and determination to be a better man? I don't hate niggers, man. I don't, I don't, I don't associate with niggers, but on the other hand, I don't associate with common white trash or Jews or Catholics, if I can help it. rights in this country. He should have equal rights, but separate rights. It's worked for a hundred years in the South, and I think it will work now. But if you was the nicest fella in the world, and, and Lyndon Johnson said, I had to associate with you every day, I'd tell Lyndon Johnson to go straight to hell, because I would not associate with you. On the viciousness of the Federal Reserve Corporation, and how it has built the taxpayers and the American citizens out of all the money, and that Great Britain has removed the bank from the international bankers, and their bank is back under the crown. Well, I've got a wife, five kids, and I think that's enough reason. I want them to be out of a country to raise, be raised up in like I was. I wasn't forced to go to school with niggers. I wasn't forced to eat with them. And I want them to have at least the right that I had. I read in my history books that the nigger man the Negro race was an inferior race, and that was the history that was taught me when I was in school. Oh, that hadn't been too long ago. They always have been, they always have been. From the Communist Party, from the Zionist Christ-killing Jews, and I say Christ-killing Jews because they have not been a fluid since they, since they crucified Christ, and their relatives can be traced back to the ones that's running the streets today. you are watching, 700 robed and hooded men marching around a burning cross, took place in the United States in 1965.
CBS reports the Ku Klux Klan, the Invisible Empire, will continue in a moment.